All right, guys, so welcome to the Masterclass, the Healthcare Business Academy's Masterclass on how to interview your PT employers. Uh, this is the beginning of how you find your dream job in physical therapy, and boy, do we have something special in store for you guys today. There is so much we're gonna go over, so let's get right into it. Um, big welcome and thank you guys for taking an hour out of your day, whether you're here live or the many that have requested this recording. This is a huge step in the right direction because so many of you guys are hyper-focused on getting your clinical skills set up. But what we're doing here today is developing your professional muscles. And man, that is what's missing in our industry. So by virtue of you being here, pat yourself on the back. You are a significant step ahead from others. So before we get started, please silence your cell phones. Don't be distracted. Really be focused here because the content here will literally save you years of pain and make you thousands of dollars. So have a pen and pad ready, get ready to take some notes because we're gonna go really fast so we can get to some question and answers and possibly even do a mock interview here live with you guys uh, on the call. So um, which of the following best describes your current job hunt situation? Like many, maybe you haven't thought much about it because you just gotta pass your boards right? Like I, I remember being in PT school going, I'll worry about that after I know I'm an actual physical therapist. So maybe that's not you. Maybe you've talked to some potential employers and you're not too worried because there's a lot of jobs out there, right? Right? Well, there are, there's plenty of jobs out there, plenty and plenty. However, there is definitely a shortage of amazing jobs. And I think that's where we get stuck as well is that we just feel confident in knowing we can find something as long as we pass the boards. Or maybe you've been interviewing and you're scared of what you don't know. So this is the first step in that direction of taking control of your future and your career by getting started and developing those professional skill sets. So, and I want you guys to stick around because during this presentation, I have not one, not two, but three free gifts for you guys that are going to make a huge impact in your journey. So who am I? Well, last year I was awarded from the Hands-On Diagnostic Seminars, the Ted Lasso Award. So they, they said I'm the closest thing in physical therapy to Ted Lasso. I was incredibly honored by that. I'm a huge fan of Jason Sudeikis and uh, of that show as well. So I'm perpetually upbeat until I'm not, but I am upbeat usually <laughs> and very good. But this is what I want you to know about me more than anything. This is my beautiful wife of 25 years this year and our four boys, it's a little old picture. Ethan's now almost 20, crap, right? And uh, yeah, this year we're going to uh, Bali for our anniversary in August, I'm super excited about. So my journey was a very, very interesting journey because as a PT, I always knew I wanted to own my own practice, but I really didn't know what I was doing. So I received tons of help in coaching and started turning things around. For me, I think the big realization like the moment that I realized I needed to develop my professional muscles was when I became an owner, not when I was looking for work. And in, a ret in retrospect, my first jobs were a nightmare because I wasn't, I was just looking for a job. I was so excited to pass the boards. I just kind of wanted something that was doable for the time being. And that was painful for me. And then when I started a practice, that's when I realized I was not a natural leader. I did not have a lot of natural professional skill sets. So I started getting coaching and I've been in a journey now, 15 years of getting coaching. I still have a coach. I actually have two right now. I have a mentor and a coach and I'm a huge proponent of finding someone who knows what they're doing to show you what to do. And so that's why I went from like this, this guy who didn't know hardly anything about ownership to then building this dream team. And, and I'm very fortunate because Michelle Bambanek is on the call, who was the start of all things wonderful. Michelle is, is host co-hosting this today. So she'll be taking your, your questions. By the way, make sure if you have any questions during this, don't feel like you can't interrupt. Just type things in there. She'll get to them right away. Um, if you're watching this as a recording, shoot an email over to us. But if you're here live, leverage it because she's here uh, to help. So over time, it was a very interesting journey. There are hours and hours of stories that we could share with you about the importance of coaching, consulting, learning what we need to know, and how we got from one clinic in the middle of nowhere, Florence, Arizona, to ultimately merging and becoming one of 26 locations in Empower, 
um, physical therapy, which now as of today, I think they have like 62 or something like that. Michelle, do you remember how many locations they have? I want to say it's even in the 70s. I have it on the 70s. So, so Michelle and I are no longer attached uh, to empower any like, you know, employment type way, but our comp- our little baby has now gone into the 70s of location. So how did we do it? Well, through coaching. But here's what I want you to know as well, is that the power of learning how to control your future in physical therapy can produce a result that you never dreamed. I never dreamed. I remember telling my wife, I just want to make 60,000 a year. I told her that in 2001. So this journey of coaching and consulting took us to a place where not only did we provide amazing care and we didn't burn out a a single physical therapist in that journey, but we created this experience where I was able to do something I never dreamed of. The the phrase that I always say is that profitability unlocks possibility. And here was me and my, my family for six months. We didn't work. Um, We lived in Europe here. We were at Petra in Jordan and that's, that's the Disneyland castle in Southern Germany And it was this life-changing experience that I just don't even know how to begin to describe other than to say, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And I'm so glad that you're here as students and new grads and some of the owners from the Rockstar PT Network are here, which is so awesome because we have to start dreaming bigger to understand it, that what we need to do in order to achieve those dreams. So the last thing I'd want you to know quickly about me is I do have this um, YouTube channel where you can get free resources. We only serve so many people, but we want to help as many as we can. Um, we'll, we'll send out some links on that as well. But I offer videos every week for both students, um, new grads, all the way up to owners on how to take, take control of their career. And I have this really cool thing where um, our charity is to actually s- save physical therapy from the direction we're headed in. So this is going to overwhelm you, but let's just, I want you to understand what we do here at Rockstar PT, okay? So there's two different hierarchies that we have in the Rockstar coaching world here. The first hierarchy you're seeing here is what's pertinent to you as students and new grads, okay? So here at the Rockstar PT um, program, what we do is we help students go from PT hires to owners. Now, you may not want to be an owner, But listen, this path is still the same, even if you want to specialize or go into education, because we all start at the bottom as the PT hire. And fear and ignorance is what keeps us from progressing. It's what causes burnout, because we don't know what we don't know. So we go work for employers who don't know these things, and they burn their students and, and new grads out. So the myth, this is what screws us up. Look at the myth on the left there. If I just pass my boards and become good clinically, there will always be jobs. That is true, but the myth on that is that you're not finding the right job. So the truth is, finding the right job requires learning and effort, which is what we're going to dive into today. So once you find the right place to work with the right leadership, then you'll become a physical therapist that's super empowered. And then I want to promote everybody to develop their skills to become a director. And we're super excited because in Rockstar, we have a Rockstar Director Program that Michelle Bambanek is going to be spearheading. We're launching that soon, and it's powerful because it's going to teach you everything you need to know when you're ready. But that's where most PTs will stop. They'll go PT, PT director for the most part. The myth is that starting a practice is hard and for only those who are born leaders. And what I want to tell all of you listening within the sound of my voice is that every PT should open their own practice. And with help, it's very doable. As a matter of fact, so many PT owners are so scarcity in their mindset, they don't want to hire people who want to open their own practice because they don't see that that's actually the best hire that they could make. If they are a good owner, which the people on this call are, then the PT students that they can hire, they can develop and grow and in three to six years, help them launch their own practice. And then they become this network of PT owners that change the world together without burnout and with higher profits for all. So it's an incredible experience. So this is what we do here. You're starting today at PT Hire. Like, what do we do to get you into a powerful position? So my stand is this. I am taking a stand to make physical therapy the leader of musculoskeletal and neurologic disorders in the global medical field. Right now, we are some service that just gets handed off to, right? Like doctors prescribe us like like we're Zoloft. (laughs) It's ridiculous. We are the experts especially in the musculoskeletal area of what p- the public needs and they just don't even know it. So the only way they're going to know it is if we have leaders who know from day one, being in school, hey, I'm focused on finding the best career path 
so I can unlock what's possible by being profitable. And that's, by the way, the reason I'm standing in front of you, thanks to all that coaching. I'm with Michelle right now, serving the greater public. We don't have to work in this industry. It actually goes against some of the counsel we receive from our coaches, but we just love you guys too much. This is our industry. This is where we want to grow and make a change in the world. And someday you can too, if you know the things we're going to teach. So let's talk about the training. Let's get right into it now. Let's talk about truth number one, and this is going to offend some of you, and that's okay, because you've been taught in school that money is bad or something. I don't know. I, I was in school. I told people I wanted to open up my own practice, and they looked down on me. Today, I don't think that's happening as much, but here's what I want you to know. Making lots of money in physical therapy ethically is the right thing to do. You hear story after story about unethical therapists who are trying to take advantage of the system. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about understanding the difference between doing physical therapy to make money versus making money to do more physical therapy. When we have profits in our, we have profits in our company, when we have profits in our homes, we have the space, the energy to improve upon the systems, to enhance patient care and be home for our kids' soccer games, which is a real stressor down the road. Like it's a real thing to learn how this works. And the reason I want you guys to understand this is because we've seen it not just in our own lives, but in others. Here's um, Dylan uh, Lemery. I always mispronounce his name. I've known him for eight years. He'd be embarrassed that I did that. So here's just something he mentioned about when I mentored him over the last number of years. He said, throughout my short three years as a PT, I've been able to receive mentorship and guidance from Will. I met with him actually when he was a second year. I was able to take my career into a leadership role as a clinic director, increase my salary into the six-figure range, and I currently work in professional athletics with combat athletes. He's got his own handle now, um, and he says something nice about me. But the thing I would tell you is that he's actually launched his own business since he wrote that six months ago. I meet with him once a month in our program, and the guy's killing it. (laughs) I mean, anyway, there's not a lot of, you don't hear those stories. It's because there's not a lot of people who learn how to develop those professional muscles. So here's what I want you to understand. These things aren't opposed to each other. They actually feed off each other. When we can increase our company's profits and your income at the bottom, there's, then we have the space to decrease patient cost. And then we, Im, we improve and even support our, our profession as a whole. So it's quite the opposite. If you think about it, what's happening with patients out-of-pocket costs now? In physical therapy, they're going way up, disproportionately to the rest of the medical field. And why is that? Well, because as physical therapy practice owners, we typically just take the lower paying insurances, which is changing for those of you who work with me. But ultimately, that's what's happening is we keep taking it as owners and taking it and taking it, pushing more production onto our, our people because we don't know what else to do. That causes burnout and frustration from the PT student and new grad perspective. And our profession suffers as a result. So the solution is actually quite the opposite. So how do you do it when you have $170,000 in student loans? That's the average student loan cost right now, $170,000. Well, here's the quick summary as to how. First and foremost, work for the few companies that can afford to invest in your future. I mean, the ones that are going to mentor you. Not just clinically, which is where your head's at, but through leadership. Remember that hierarchy of leadership I showed you for the Rockstar PT earlier? There are so many, and the the people on this call are definitely those individuals. And then you want to also, how do you find those people? Well, you build your personal brand. You learn how to become a Rockstar PT, not just a clinically solid PT, but a Rockstar PT understands the clinical and the professional development that needs to occur. And this is my thing for all. Always grow your own business. Even when you're working for another employer, starting that social media page, starting to develop a following of patients that know, like, and trust you, learning how to develop ancillary products that can serve the public that also promote your current position while you're learning how to do your own thing. There's so many ways to start a business while you're working for another great company. And so we'll go over those things here together, but let me give you a quick review. So when you are looking for the ideal boss, before we even get into the interview, I want you to do the following things. I want you to go to their website and look for the three following things I hope you have heard of, their purpose or mission, their values, and their vision. 
the vast majority aren't going to have any of those. And I will tell you, those that do will automatically stand out because if they know and can articulate, and especially if their team can articulate their purpose, vision, values, you know that you have a company that understands culture. And I know you know that. So understanding culture is a big deal because that means you'll have an experience of the company in an inspiring and and powerful way. And you can go further. You can look at their Facebook pages if they have them, LinkedIn pages if they have them. If they don't have them, it's not a bad thing. It just means they're not far, far enough along to be able to communicate it well. But if they do, and they do it well, that's another indication that you're looking at a rock star company. But here's something most people don't know about. Do you know that in Indeed there's reviews? This is the thing that's developing very aggressively. In Indeed, there's a review function for people who used to work at places or currently work at places. And the thing I would tell you is that a bad review does not mean it's a bad company. As a matter of fact, I don't have any company that I would work for that doesn't have at least a couple of bad, <laughs> bad reviews. You know, employee relationships are a lot different than like a Google review of like a taco place. Employee relationships are, are all about the depth of it. And so employers, even the best ones in the universe, are going to hire a bad seed from time to time. And so, again, I don't want you to just be deterred immediately when you see one. Now, if you see four or five out of 10, yeah, be, be concerned. But let me show you something, what I mean. So when it comes to reviews, <laughs> which of these two companies would you work for? There's a, there's a company on the top and a company on the bottom. Who would you guys like to work for? The top one. And, and you can tell why immediately they took care into their communication. Not, is there, not only is there um, 77 reviews and Indeed has given them a little gold star, but you can see on average they're 4.2. And by the way, that's not a 5.0. This is a company that has so many reviews that they're going to have some detractors and that's okay. Don't be det- deterred. The bigger concern on the bottom one isn't the fact that they're sitting on 14 reviews at a 3.0, even though that's pretty horrific. You know, the bigger issue is that this company, I, I guarantee doesn't even know that indeed has a review function, which means how much do they spend time in, in working on their business? Maybe they're too busy in it to know how to develop it. Right? So these little tricks, these little things you can do to research the companies before you even apply can start shifting things through. So here I have my very first gift and I'll send it in my email. I have a PDF I've created of Rockstar Physical Therapy Companies in the Rockstar PT Network that I will send you in the follow-up email tomorrow. So if you're receiving this recording, you might actually receive the recording with this email. But in it are companies that I would personally work for. I would work for these companies and I will tell you everyone in this list is someone that I've spent some serious time with and that I can recommend. So I'm very excited to be able to share that with you. Um, in the Rockstar PT Company Network, we are, I think we discovered it was in 17 states. I know we have 50, 50 companies in total. The list will be much shorter. This list is going to contain about 10. So if you find that you live in an area where there's not a company on that list, reach out to me. I don't have connections in every state, but I have connections in most. So please reach out to me. I'd be happy to to find the best fit for you as you're recruiting and you're looking for your dream job. Truth number two, finding a job is easy. Finding the best fit takes skill. You guys are going to have no problems finding a job, which is why maybe you're so hyper-focused. So this is where we get into the actual interview portion of today's training. Um, Here's the truth. When I am interviewing and I've done hundreds, I've done thousands, excuse me. I have done thousands of interviews. I've done hundreds of interviews in the last year (laughs) with my billing company. In my medical billing company in the black, we are uh, at 35 employees now. And so for typically for every position, I'll interview three before I hire. So in the interview portion, I ask, I've asked PTs, billers, one question after, after I ask them questions, what would you like to ask me? The vast majority don't ask, oh, nothing. So what we're going to do today is teach you how to interview your employers in 10 minutes. And this is a huge deal. It's going to, I'm not only just going to teach you what to ask, but I'm also going to teach you um, why it's important. So before we do that, let's talk about how this impacts you as you grow. This is another one of our our candidate or one of our uh, members, Hunter. 
Words can't describe what mentorship has been like. I am, I'm about to try here. Will has been helpful. Da, da, da. He provides resources to learn what is the, what takes to be the best person, businessman, human, and partner. Because that's the thing that I think we forget when we're looking at developing our professional skill set, what we're really doing, guys. I get awkward when I read nice things about me, but I want you to know how we've experienced this. I have, let me finish. Provides connections and introductions to grow your network and build your dreams. The thing that I learned, and I know Hunter and um, Dylan learned, is that when we develop our leadership, guys, we don't just become happier PTs. We become better human beings because we're not, we're talking about leadership. Michelle and I are on this mission, like commitment to help people just experience life at a higher level. And that works in this professional domain called PT, but guys, it's relationships, it's you know, romantic ones, it's parents, it's children, it's all those things. This is a rising tide called leadership. So as we talk about interviewing, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about a specific skill, but think about this from a bigger picture. If you're single and you're looking at, a, at someone you might want to consider getting married to, wouldn't you want to know some of the things we're about to go through kind of in a different way? So let's talk about the first thing we want to identify in an interview. You want to understand the company's purpose. Why do they exist? So here's how we ask. Oh, let's go back. That's like the heartbeat. If we look at a company like the anatomy of a human being, the heart is the why. It's the emotional driver that they do what they do. So in this case, we want to ask what that is. A lot of good companies don't know how to put language around it. But again, if they know how to put language around it and it's on their website, they are already a tier, at least a tier or two above everyone else because they know it. That means they live it better. So you can ask them straight up. What is your company's purpose? Our company purpose, Michelle, back in the Rise Rehab? to be the light and hope in the lives of others. When we were recruiting, we would tell people about that. And what was what was your experience around that, Michelle? Do you mind sharing? Oh, it was really powerful. I think it was something that resonated with a lot of people that we wanted to attract. So it was really something that a lot of people were like, oh, that's so cool. I I love that. Yeah, and our team knew it. They, they, they would, we would, we would actually mention it before every team meeting. But if they don't, if the company doesn't know what that is, you can ask them, why did you open your practice? It's the same thing. Why did you go into leadership? Why did you decide to do this? People love, employers in particular, love talking about themselves. And what you'll learn is what drives them. Were they just like excited about a better, like, you know, I had a friend and I, this literally was one of my old partners. He would say, you know, I just had a neighbor that was, was, had a nice car and he owned a practice. That's why I wanted to do it. Do you want to work for that person? Probably not. You might, then again, maybe you're in it for a car. Then, then that's a good fit for you. You guys will talk the same language. But for me, I would be more driven by somebody who's like, listen, I got really impactful when I started treating patients and I wanted to increase my impact. I'd be like, all right, cool. So that's a big question to find out why they started. I want you to think about the purpose as like the past. What was it in their past history that put them in front of you right there? Then you want to ask about their values. The values is how they execute as a company and it's real time present. If the purpose is the past, the how is the present. And, and so you want to ask, that's like the, in, the, in the analogy of our body business, it, the musculoskeletal system, it's how we execute in a business. And so... The values are basically words or phrases that they're going to use to describe their their values. I just re I just realized, by the way, that when Michelle talks, the people on this recording aren't going to hear it tomorrow, so I'm not going to actually pass it back to Michelle, even though I really want to. But our values, what we do is we ask them, we say, who is one of your heroes and why? This gives us an example of what they look up to in terms of how they make decisions. Here's another one. Who's one of your top employees and why? What does the employer value in a current team member? right? You're going to learn about hard work, I'm sure, dedication, some very obvious things, but they'll mention a number of other things that won't be so obvious. 
that will help you determine whether or not you're aligned with them. And by the way, if you haven't caught on, the whole time you're asking their questions, you're blowing their freaking minds. Because most people, 90 something percent to be conservative, don't even ask anything. So for you to be like, hey, tell me about you and why you did this is a personalization that will set you apart when there's companies that have multiple people wanting that position, which is actually the case in some of these great companies. In an industry where most PT owners are, are really desperate for work, the best of the best, they're not desperate. They're very particular, as a matter of fact, and you have to earn that. So no matter what, this is the beginning of negotiating, is standing out, getting them so excited to hire you that they can't stand it by asking these questions. Lastly, you wanna ask vision questions, the where. So again, if the purpose is the past and is the heart, if the present is the how, the musculoskeletal system, and the present, the vision is the eyes in the future. Where are they going? What do they want long-term? This is super important. And gratefully, almost all owners will be able to answer this question. What is your company's vision? What do you want to create? How well do they expel that to you? How detailed is it? How impactful or inspiring is it? What is your strategic focus for this year? Is another question. Like, what's your focus for this year? Most won't know, but those who do will stand out. What are your company's strengths and weaknesses? You're looking forward to see if you could fit in that vision. What if you wanted to become a specialist in pelvic health, but the vision was to become the state leader in, in orthopedics? Well, that's a useful bit of information to know before you decide to take a job, right? And I love, ask, I love it when people ask me my company's strength and weaknesses. I actually love to tell them, yeah, here's what we stink at. I hire everyone at In the Black. Right now, our weaknesses are we are super, we're growing so fast that our weakness is that we literally don't take new business, which is starting to hurt our market presence because we're too busy trying to make sure that our current customers are getting all their systems dialed in. So like, that's, that's a problem. What qualities do you look for in a leader? That's a great one. What do they look forward to in a leader? So these are the questions I want you to ask. And as a result, here's your second free gift, an ebook that I created and have given out for a couple of years now called How to Interview Your Employer. I will review all of those questions and a ton more that you can take, download, and review so that you are, you are clearly creating that win-win agreement between you and those future employers. Truth number three, the best PTs work on their professional skills as much as their clinical skills, as you've heard me say now a number of different times. So in this whole journey called finding your dream employer, I hope up to this point what you've seen is this need to get really clear on what you want first, developing that personal brand, researching the employers in front of you, and then interviewing the ones in a way that's going to help you determine if there's alignment. And so, again, the whole interview process, I want you guys to ask me questions as much as you want in this, this meeting. Go ahead and just type them in if you have anything about any interview situations you might confront. My guess is that most of you are early stages observing this process. So you may not have any questions yet, and that's fine. But if you do, please throw them out there. Um, before we move on, I just want to highlight another one of our, our clients, Naughty. Uh, and he, it's pronounced Naughty. He goes Nathaniel, but his nickname is Naughty. So when he was a second year, year in physical therapy school, he met me at a conference. Um, I, had, I had some things that were valuable for him. His ability, my ability to educate and lead is invaluable for anyone looking to accelerate their personal professional growth. So I just want to reiterate as we're going through these things, what can happen for those who are really connected to this. So listen, what I have been dreaming of doing for the longest time, guys, is that I have, since I went to Europe, I dreamed about this. I remember being in Herblay, this little town in France, um, and just sitting on this little balcony and just thinking about what do I want to do when I grow up after I come home? And I honestly thought of who I wanted to work with first. And I thought about Michelle first and foremost and a whole handful of others that I was like, you know, I don't really care as long as we're helping the industry and I'm with these people. And then this idea started coming to mind. What if we could find a way to provide the missing training that's, that's not out there in our industry. And so for the last three years, I've been so blessed to have been able to work with over 50 physical therapy outpatient practices in helping them in various ways. I have a recruiting company where I teach people how to recruit. I have a 
a medical billing company. Michelle and I are partnered um, in a coaching company for for PT directors and owners and helping them grow and scale. So it's been an incredible journey, and it's always been one of one of our biggest dreams to connect this upcoming generation with these companies that we know are the best of the best and helping them grow. And we don't want to make any money on that piece. But we would like to help train you guys and help you become the type of hire that knows. Because once you learn the skill, you never have to learn it again. So at this point, how are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling a bit overwhelmed by this? Is it seeming like it's pretty straightforward? Please feel free to type that in the chat. I just want to do a check-in to make sure that you guys are, are tracking at this point. Um, Michelle, any input at this point? Are we, are we good to continue? I think you're muted right now, unfortunately. I still can't hear you. We are good to continue. Okay, great. All right, well, I've got something very special for you guys that I'm super excited about this. I want you to remember that as you're developing yourself professionally, this is just one small piece in the puzzle of creating a future in physical therapy, right? And so what we want to do is keep you in our network. We've developed a program that we're super excited to announce today that's going to help everybody stay connected and grow. While we're working with the PT owners, we want to find those students and new grads who are really committed to making a bigger difference in their lives and helping them over time so that they're able to grow and then develop and grow the great companies and kill the mills. One of the things I'm super excited about doing is feeding the companies that are going to promote professional growth as well as your growth and their growth and starve the ones who are basically destroying the industry. And by the way, quick commentary on that. I don't have any hard feelings towards those companies because most of them are just working out of ignorance and burnout. They're not bad people. They're just individuals who are so tired. And I was there once where they just are trying to get through their day. And so as changes happen, they're not proactive. They're not really leading. And so they, they burn out their team and they're just constantly floundering around that. They, the one thing I'll say, though, is that in today's industry, there's lots of help out there. Michelle and I are just one of different companies that exist now in the physical therapy space to help people get clear. So I'm not saying that they're victims. I'm just saying I don't think they're bad people and not to work for them. Let them figure things out. They should work for somebody else who is getting coaching. So what you guys all need, everyone needs in the industry, mentoring for professional skill set development. We also need practice in developing those skills, interviewing skills. We need a network to help us grow. Because remember, guys, our network is our net worth. Who we know is more important than anything else. And then we've got to find training that's convenient and support to help us through this. And I'm not talking about just getting to your first job, guys. I am super excited because what we want to provide for you is support and training after graduation. Like those guys that you saw, they're part of a group called Next Gen there's a much larger group behind them. And we've been together now for a number of years. I've seen them graduate, pass their boards, get married, have kids, start jobs, become directors, and even start their own practices. This is the support that's missing in our industry. And so when you look at, this is right, there's, not, there's nothing out there like that. Right now in physical therapy, there's nothing out there. I've looked. So when you're looking at mentoring, networking, coaching, and training, you're looking at spending ten dollars to $20,000 a year for that stuff. And that's why there's nothing out there. In dentistry, chiropractic, there totally is. And this is typically the price range you're going to look at. So in physical therapy, when you have $170,000 in student loans and your starting salaries are in the 70s, yeah, that's a hefty price tag. So how can I help? I was thinking about this a lot. How can I help this group more specifically? And so... That is why I'm so proud to announce the Rockstar PT Hire Program. The Rockstar PT, PT Hire Program has been in, in, in motion for years, but we've never created it in a way that could bring more people into it. We were very limited on how many people we could have join this group. And so we are looking for PTs who are committed to making a powerful future, who want to make more money and treat patients in a powerful way and promote the industry. So what is the program? There's three key elements to it. The first thing is we help you define your future. You ask most PTs in a interview when they're coming out of school, what do you want to do after graduation? The vast majority of them say, oh, I just, I just want to pass the boards and work somewhere I like. The expectations couldn't be lower. <laughs> we need to raise those expectations and define 
what it is that you were born to do. And I'm not just talking about treating patients, guys. I'm talking about taking a stand and making an impact, right? So you don't have to know the answer, being a director, owner, whatever. But we want to create some sort of ideal scene that's going to inspire beyond just being comfortable. We want to be great. And then we help you design that. We help you design that by helping you in a mentorship program develop what it is that matters to you most and then aligning your personal brand at the very end with companies in the Rockstar PT network. Again, that we, we, will, we won't get compensated for, but we are excited to introduce between you and them to help you grow in a way that is like just not common in our industry if you look at the statistics. So here's what the program is. It's a six-month access to Rockstar PT Hire. For six months, you get online training. You have four modules that will help you create your personal brand, build a vision, a future by teaching you professional skills. We'll go every. We'll, go, we'll teach you how to do resumes, how to interview and negotiate more powerfully. The first steps in negotiation, by the way, are what we covered earlier, is knowing how to ask the right questions to get them wanting you already. We have a private Marco Polo group. Oh, by the way, we're also talking about how to make more money. We'll talk about that more in a second. But private, we have a private Marco Polo group. If you're not familiar with that, that's an app. It's a video texting app where basically we'll just have conversations face-to-face, but it's asynchronous to where people talk. I use that in all my coaching groups. It's incredibly powerful. And that gives you direct access to me on a daily basis even around what you should do. Here's my options, Will. Here's my two jobs. I'm not sure which one I should take or... They're offering me this much, but my friends are telling me I should make this much. I can help you through all that, and I've helped others. There's also monthly group training calls to help you implement and get personalized help. So I will be on a call with people who join this group, and every month I'm going to do for you what I've done for NextGen, where we're going to get on a call, and we're going to develop you all the way to owning your own practice. Super fun. You'll get access to resources and toolkits. We're talking templates that I have created and designed over resumes, job, Joe interviews or job interviews, script for negotiating salaries, everything you'll ever need. You'll also get VIP content for anything else I produce in this domain. And then there's coaching on how to pay off debt, start your own hustle and build your private practice. I've helped over seven PT companies so far and I've coached over 50 companies. So I know a little something about this. And remember guys, when you're in this position, as you're listening to this, if you're thinking, yeah, I would love this support, just remember that taking action is confidence. You know, we're a very fear-based profession. Action is where it's at. That's where we're going to take a stand for ourselves by moving forward. And so I wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to move forward by and still respect our time spent on this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to offer this program to all of you guys. Uh, and it's unbelievable. If you guys are willing to roll in the next 48 hours, today's Thursday, so we'll make this actually end of day Monday. Here's what you'll get access to. Number one, 75% off the price of enrollment. So this is usually a $1,000 six-month price for me, $2,000 a year. We're doing $255 now. And this is money that you can easily get back when you save and negotiating in your first job alone. We're going to talk about that in just a second. The first bonus you get when you sign up is the Salary Negotiation Masterclass. This is an amazing masterclass. And by the way, I was just teaching this a couple of days ago on a coaching call. It sounds like <laughs> the owners in the call who are like listening to this, I'm sure they're like, wait a minute. Is Will going to help them get more money out of me? That what I'm going to produce is an experience of a maximized win-win relationship between the employee and the employer. And yeah, it actually works out for that they make more money, but in a way that produces greater results for the owner without stressing them out. So this came from the Harvard Business Review. If you've never negotiated a job, job offer before, there's a good chance that you've lost out on tens of thousands of dollars. And that's the link if you want it. The reason that's so important is because when we go into a job and we're just excited to get a job, we might negotiate at a degree that leaves even a thousand dollars difference on the table over 10 years plus the raises, the subsequent raises that are based on that, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars. So I will teach you how to do that in a way to where you're not taking advantage of your employers, you're making it to where they're happy to pay it to you. I'll teach you how to do that. It's not as hard as it sounds. We're also gonna teach you in a masterclass how to repay your loans fast. 
There are so many things that PTs just don't know about money. And I am so excited to teach these things to you. This may not be relative. I know that right now it's on the on the floor that maybe all your loans are going to get forgiven by the government anyway. But wouldn't it be nice to know how to how to get rid of loans in other domains, mortgages, those types of things? Well, this is what we teach here is applicable to all those pieces. I'm very proud to say I've been debt free for a number of years uh, across all of my investments and everything I've done. I didn't know how to do it until someone taught me. I'm excited to share that with you. And then my this next master class is one of the one I'm just super excited about. It's called the Six Figure Secret. It's how I helped Dylan, uh, Naughty, and others make these types of amounts coming out of school within a couple of years. And again, this isn't. It's, I'm not talking about doing it in a way that's like burning the business you're working for out. It's doing it in a way to where you have balance in life and you're still having the profits that you can live on. And here's the craziest thing of all. So even though there's a fee for that, for this course and this program, if you refer two people that join, you get your, your fee refunded at 100%. So this is 100% free for those who refer other people to join. And you might say, well, Will, how do you make money out of this? I don't. I don't make, my vision isn't to make a ton of money on this. The only thing we're charging here is to separate the committed from the not committed. So if three people wanted to get together and split this, that would be fine for me. I don't care. I just want people in it because I want them developing themselves to be better for the right companies so that we, we change the profession. And so, yeah, that's another motivation factor here. If you divide that amongst three people and split that by six months, that's $14 and 12 cents a month each. Yeah. So $14 and 12 cents to learn how to pay off your loans, avoid burnout, make six figures and start your own business. I don't know. I mean, seems pretty obvious to me. I, I just want to be with people who give a crap. And if you're too busy and you're too stressed out and you're like, well, this isn't for me. I'm just overwhelmed. I get it. I totally get it. For those of you who are thinking, well, I'm a traveler. I don't need to worry about this stuff because I want to go into travel. Oh, I want to talk to you. I have a solution that's going to give you better experiences in travel. I even promise you'll make more money. If you join the program, I'll teach you how I have a traveling solution, a traveling business, I guess you could say, that is going to bankrupt all other traveling businesses. And the reason being is because I charge no money for it. I won't go into how, but I will tell you that those savings I will be passing to you and to those who are going to uh, develop you and work for the best places. All right, so here's when the program starts. We begin right after spring break, March 2023. Guys, that's this month. We're talking two, three weeks down the road. There's a whole group of you that are graduating soon. I want you in this immediately because you're probably going to start, if you haven't already started interviewing, you're going to immediately. That way, even though the program won't start for a few weeks, you can still get in the Marco Polo group. I can help you the whole nine yards, right? So if you have any questions, I want you to email me here at will at unlockhba.com and then... I am going to drop the sign-up link into the chat room right now. So if you're ready, let me go ahead and put that in the chat room. Boom. Right now it's in the chat. It is live and ready to go. Okay. So what are you waiting for, guys? We want to help you. We want to help you. Again, this isn't a profit thing for us. This is about you committing and doing something to take a stand for yourself. $255, this isn't something we're going to, we're going to be doing often. We are piloting this just to make sure that we can get rock star PTs to take a stand for themselves. And here's the last thing I would tell you. It's 100% satisfaction after six months. If it wasn't worth it for you, you get your money back. So there is zero risk to this whatsoever. All right, guys. Even if you didn't, if you're not going to join the PT Hire community, you showed up today and you made an investment in your future. I am so proud of you that have shown up to this call live and to the others who are going to be watching this offline. And just so you know, again, you have the YouTube channel. I can help lots of people, but I can only serve so many. The service comes from those who are willing to commit and spend some real time with us. Uh, the monthly calls are going to be an hour long. They're going to be recorded, so you don't have to make every single one. We're going, to person, we're going to put hot seats where people come in and just ask questions. We're going to give personalized help the whole way through. So at the end of the day, guys, thank you so much for being here on this call. It's been such an honor uh, to have you here. I am I'm available for the next 14 minutes, so I'm here and happy to answer any questions over recruiting, looking for employers, the program itself, any of those things.
Any questions so far? Okay. Uh, Nicolette, Jordan, or Jackie, would one of you guys be interested in doing a mock interview right now? I would be more than happy to interview you right now and help you get a repetition in and give you feedback on what you can do to do better. I think, I think I'd be nervous. <laughs> but guys, I'm telling you, I'll give you some feedback that will make a huge difference and even go over some of those pieces in the program for you. No worries. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Michelle, thank you so much for moderating things. I sure appreciate you being here. Um, if you don't know Christy Grayson, she works in California. She's in San Diego. And um, I, I will tell you, she, she and her husband are just two amazing human beings. They are at a stage of their business where they're growing. They are, I would work for them in a second. They take such good care of their people and they live in San Diego. Like, I don't know what else to say. They are really big on developing leaders. They're in our coaching groups. They are, their people are getting supported. I mean, we're just so excited about that. So, um, Christy, do you want to put your email in there just in case into the chat, just so that if they're interested in learning more about your growth, they can. Awesome. And then I've got Mr. Good Looking himself. I'm sure he hated that I say that, but Blaine. Blaine is in um, Twin Falls, Idaho, which I, it's so funny. I don't know if you guys, I don't know Jordan, Nicolette, or Jackie, where you're from, but I will tell you that like my wife is from Boise, which is an hour and a half outside of that. It is a total find of a place. So if you guys are looking for travel positions and just want to try those areas out, let me know. I've got, again, a solution that you'll make more money than you could anywhere else and have a better experience. Um, I'm really excited about getting rid of travel companies. But Blaine is one of those places where if you're looking for a great place to live and raise a family, that's an incredible area. Some of my best friends live out there as well. Um, but let me tell you about Blaine. Blaine has been and is incredibly kind, ethical, hardworking, um, meek, just one of those guys that I would highly recommend. So if you'd like Blaine, put your information in there as well. And um, let's see if Nicolette or Jordan would like more information on that. So after he puts it in there, we'll give you guys a few minutes there to, to capture their information and then we'll wrap things up. Very good. There it is. All right. Well, thank you guys all for being here on the call. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions on anything afterwards. And that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.